Get ready for what's coming. I got my start at Pixar as a story assistant on the Cars 1. I was hired to, um, I always had an art background, and I was hired to help the story artists actually get their work done. So they would draw the important parts of the picture, the parts that are changing for their storyboards, and I would come in and, and just fill in the background and anything that helped them stay on schedule. Um, but while I was there, I was able to work very closely with John Lasseter and, and the late Joe Raft. Um, both of those guys are, are you know, I consider great mentors of mine. Um, so I, I got to know John and I got to know the franchise pretty well and uh, stayed on through Cars 1, worked on again with John on Cars 2. And now I'm fortunate enough to, and honored to be here directing Cars 3. Hey champ! You had a good run. You have no idea what a pleasure it is for me to finally beat you. Did you say meet or beat? I think you heard me. So in Cars 1, Lightning McQueen was the hotshot young rookie. Um, he, he could do no wrong. He was like Superman when he was on, on the racetrack. Um, a lot of time has passed, and I think, like all of us realize, one day we wake up and we're middle age, and we are no longer as young as we were. We can no longer do the things we used to be able to do, and he realizes he's no longer the hotshot young rookie. There's an entire new generation of brand new racers that can do things faster than him. They train different than him. They're an entire different generation. He doesn't understand how they do it and they're leaving him in the dust. And if he doesn't figure out how to adapt, the racing career, the entire racing world is gonna leave him in the dust. Enjoy your retirement! Army Hammer, wow, he was, he was a hoot. That, that guy brings a lot of energy. You know, Army always had this little thing where he would, he would back off the microphone and get ready to say some lines. He might box in place for a little, do a little dance and he'd pop up to the microphone and, and just say his lines. Uh, and again, with Army, we, it was very improvisational. We, we would cover what's on the page and then he would tell me, oh, I got an idea. Oh, can, oh, 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 can I try this? Can I try this? And the answer is always yes when, 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 when Army says, can I try this? Um, so he would throw out a new line, and he would say that a couple of times, and I'd throw him back at a variation of that. And so we had a good time. I think the moment I met Army, I felt like we were like good friends that have always known each other. Um, he's a very warm guy, very intense, very intense. I think uh, he, was the act he was the absolute perfect person for Jackson Storm, because he can put a smile on his face, put his arm around you, say words that sound like they should be a compliment. But at the same time, you realize this isn't a compliment. Beach ate me. We were thinking about who to play the part of Cruz. Um, one of the things we were looking for was a comedian, because we wanted her to be funny. And a lot of times it's easier to get a comedian to act than it is to get an actor to be funny. I actually think the comedian part of it is probably the harder of the two. And so we were looking, we were looking at comedians and we came across Christella. And it was, it was as if you had a bunch of people wearing gray sweaters and all of a sudden somebody was wearing a fluorescent orange sweater, you know, or, or, and it was, that's what her voice sounded like. It really jumped out. It um, completely jumped out. She was hilarious. We went to her comedy routine. She's hilarious. And then on stage, she started telling a story about her family and she stopped telling jokes and she actually dialed it down and got a, told a real emotional story. Um, and that's when we realized this is, this is the person. Not only is she hilarious, but she's really, there's a lot going on under there and really emotional. And so that's, that's when we knew we found the right voice. I decide when I'm done. You are not winning this. I'm coming for you, Storm. Cars fans will enjoy seeing all their characters, all their beloved characters. They're all back. They're better than ever. And fans of movies and Pixar movies will enjoy where we go with McQueen's story. I mean, we are really pushing him against a wall and, and he's gonna have to make some tough choices on who he was and who he needs to be. And fans of racing, I think, are just gonna love all the racing we throw on the screen. And it's not the, all the kind of racing you might think. We have dirt racing, we have beach racing, you know, inspired by the old Daytona beach track. You know, we've got big races, small races. It's got it all. Have you given any thoughts? Over here. Okay. No questions. Paparazzi. 